Okay. Um, well, we have otherworldly gazes to help draw us into our um, <clears throat> blood suns, right? We have field of uh, lotus field to ramp us. Once we get there, Celeste is to clean up our mana. I think we can keep this one. We are going to go first. But really don't have a way to fire that off. So that's fine. We'll start off with our Rafine's Tower. This is going to let us essentially cast most of our deck. Play the Steam Vents. Uh, we're going to Unworldly Gaze. So we'll just let this enter tapped. Send it back. Let's see, so, interesting thing is that I'm obviously not very familiar with the format. Let's keep looking for our Blood Sun, there we go. So, discard, discard, boom, boom. Draw, go here, play our Blood Sun. <clears throat> and then, I mean, I wonder if the correct play actually was the Celestis, no. No, this is fine. Because what we're going to end up doing is Lotus Field Celestis and then be able to other, other, uh, other worldly gaze again. Looking for our, um, our other win cons, essentially, right? Take an extra turn. Maybe a Sacred Flame. Ah, that's, that's a little painful. That is a little painful, my friend. Ooh, Tamio. Cameo. Alrighty. Uh, so let's see here. If we Lotus Field, right? <clears throat> In Tamio Plus, we can also just Celestis and then double Foretell. I don't know if that's necessarily correct. Um, but we'll see. So let's see here. They're gonna eat up something else, but that's fine. Two and a point. Let's see if we're gonna be able to... Alright. Take the action. Uh, land versus Tamio. I guess we could pitch the land, right? I mean, I kind of typically want to. But at least, uh... Ooh, there we go. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That land would have been relevant for sure. So, <clears throat> let's see. We can double spell here to get rid of that, but I'm not super hyped about that. Let's go here. I guess technically we can grab a land, but we're just going to plus looking for our... Uh, uh, gosh darn it. Uh, our rise, I would think. Right? Or depopulate. Chance for glory. Faithful mending. Yeah, let's just dig for our chance for glory. Okay, this is not that bad. Not that bad, actually. So, probably going to try to cast what they uh, go to hit, right? Faithful Many would not be the worst, but I would like to probably do the Otherworldly Gaze. That way we can Lich his Mastery and gain some life. Well, that's a clean answer to our Planeswalker. This study is over. Oh, they are going to get to target two things, actually. I didn't think about that. I mean, they're obviously going to go for for Tamio. What's the second thing they go for? Hopefully the... All right. The mending. All right. We'll, we'll deal with it. Cast the Mending. And... Pitch... The Triome... One, two, three, four, five, six. Now nah, we'll, we'll go this way. Pitch these two. And we'll just eat the uh, double crush the week here. We really can't. Like, our opponent's. The rest of their hand is all removal. 
So I think we'll just take this and then we'll, oh, nice. Uh, all right, so Triome comes down, play Mastery first. And then we'll double crush the weak. They have one mana left. Don't think there's one mana sack. Right? They could be running village rights, but I don't think so. Alright, this buys us some time. We get to dig. We'll take this action. Ooh, nice. Nice. That's actually a really good draw for us. Um, sweet. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be real good, chat. Get to conjecture now. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to go off. Yep, two dudes. Roger that. Uh, we will exile. Let's see. Land. Land. Alright, first thing we get back is an instant, which is going to be our sacred fire. We're going to hold off on March of the Wretch Sorrow. Yeah, uh, take that action. Sacred Flame is kind of nice. I think we just pitch the flame, though. We get to draw a card. Yes, alright, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good, my friends. Play a land. Grab Conjecture. Or, er, play Conjecture. Get back Sacred Fire. Right? And that's one we want it to turn back into Night. So let's go ahead and shoot. Boom, boom. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, my friends. There's the double spell. Let's go switch. We can pitch the Blood Sun. Chance for glory. All right, things are looking bright. <clears throat> this deck is so sweet, man. This deck is freaking awesome. Chandra. Roger that. We have the March of the Wretch, so that's okay. They're going to plus... See if they too are yep. base. You're going down. They do, fair enough. Going back to the old graveyard. Pitch, sun, and land. They hit us for one. Uh, let's gaze first to see what we discard. Deep uh, we we want the mastermind's acquisition, so pitch, depopulate, and ridge. Yes, yes. It's all according to plan, my friends. All according to plan. I actually didn't mean to pitch that, uh, but that's fine. Here's the acquisition. And we can get back... Uh... Yeah, we can kind of do both, right? <clears throat> so, let's get... Crush the weak. And then, so first off, <clears throat> first things first, before I forget, let's chance for glory, right? That way we get another turn, and now the shenanigans begin. Then we will, let's see, hit Chandra for five, right? One to cast, and one, four, five, yep, excellent. Hit Chandra for five, draw five. Gotta love that. <laughs> oh man, this deck is cool. This deck is cool. Uh, Mastermind's acquisition will allow us to. Oh, we gotta play a land too. Don't let me forget. Lotus Field. Huh. Yep, Lotus Field. So we can actually just uh, crush the weak. Right? In actual real time. And then we're going to get to double any spell that we play. Yup. So, field. Do we have enough? Let's see. So if we... Yup, they're not even going to let us do it. <laughs> yes!
Greetings, happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic so you don't have to. If you've ever played a card that changes the way you play Magic, then uh, consider dropping a like down below because uh, that's exactly what we're doing today. We are playing Lich's Mastery. Lich's Mastery. It is a three triple black, a legendary enchantment, hexproof. You can't lose the game. That will come in handy, but there's always a catch. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Sweet. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. So there we have it. So this deck, uh, I did not originate this. I saw this on Ali and Trazi's brew, and I thought it was a ton of fun to play. I had some of the cards from drafting. And so I was like, why not? So I finished off some of the cards. And uh, yeah, first off, I will say that this mana base can be quite expensive because we are running, as you can tell, the full five colors. But you can now with the reason the new Capenna Trilands, you can actually put this together fair. I mean, a little cheaper. Um, the other thing, actually, the main purpose of this deck is to resolve Lich's Mastery, and then take an infinite amount of turns, uses a chance for glory, where typically you would take an extra turn and then die or lose the game. But of course, with Lich's Mastery out, we don't lose the game. So we take an extra turn for simply three mana. We cycle through our deck with a bunch of cards that allow us to gain life while they're doing whatever they do. So we can draw additional cards. And then using Tamio to, to recur our um, extra turn effects as well as our win con which is mastermind's acquisition allowing us to get any card from not only our deck but our sideboard where our win cons are and you can pretty much fill this with whatever you want but the main finisher here is torment of hellfire because this deck actually ramps quite a bit you hit your opponent for x being 8 9 12 and they just can't survive that which is a lot of fun the way we do that is with blood sun shutting off uh anything but mana abilities off of land and then we're playing a playset of lotus fields so what that means is lotus field no longer has us sacrificing two lands when it comes into play so it ramps us for two the turn we play it super busted as well as good fixing but that is the deck the gameplay is a ton of fun super deep lines i like decks like this because it forces me to think outside the box forces me to become a ma better magic player and it's extremely different so i hope you guys enjoyed the video or enjoy the video as much as I did making it. Um, it is really a fun deck. But buyers beware when you go to craft it because it is very niche. Um, that being said, I want to give a shout out to this video to Jameson Hickman. Jameson, thank you so much, my friend, for supporting the channel and riding the struggle bus with us. I appreciate you. And uh, this out of the box five color Lich's Mastery deck is for you, my friend. All right, well, we're going first, and we have our Blood Sun and our Lich. I think we can keep this, right? Use Tamio to find our uh, our last combo piece. We also have Faithful Mending, which is sweet. Kind of get us there. So, uh, make sure we play blue first. I think Rafine's Tower should be fine. So, Gari so far from the opponent. There's a decent card for us to pitch away. Tamma could potentially get it back if we need to. Ooh, Soul Tie, you say? All right, let's see if we get untapped land off the top. Hey, a Lotus Field, though. So, we're going to have a pretty decent next turn. <laughs> uh, Faithful Mending. What are we Faithful Mending away? Kind of really don't want to mend anything away, honestly. Fight rigging. Okay, nice opponent. Nice. I haven't seen this card in Explore yet. So. I'm trying to think. I mean, I guess we just mend anyways, right? And. Pitch land and. Chance of glory. Alright, so go here. Fortunately, we aren't going to be able to do any, like, good follow-up. But at least next turn, we'll have seven mana. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's see if they tap. 
Hmm. So we can chance for glory, right? Let's see, hopefully if they put the counter, if they put the counter on Valky, maybe we go looking for, okay, all right, fair. They're attacking. Huh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Play Tamio. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we only have one up, so that means we're gonna discard to take six. That can't be correct. The Mastermind's acquisition. Tamio will die. <clears throat> so I don't have enough to take an extra turn this turn. Playing Tamio just kind of gets us dead. So we can depopulate. I think we just problem is I like Fatal Mending because it'll let us draw. We let Tamiya take one for the team. Is that what we're trying to do? I think so, because it still gives us the opportunity to mending, right? <clears throat> Every story is an opportunity so plus and I don't know, let's just look I for depopulate, I guess. We take another turn, then play mastery. Is that good enough? One, no, because we're still mana shy. Unfortunately, right? I don't think one, two, three. Play that. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it would have been enough to to play something else. Oh, that's an instant? Huh. It's interesting. I, I don't know why for some reason I didn't think it was instant. Okay. Interesting. They're just playing it out, man. They uh, Our opponent's got no fear right now. No fear. Another chance for glory, which is kind of funny. Do we just pitch the two chances? I don't think that's correct. Pick, pitch, chance, and land. Keep the Celestis, because once we drop the Mastery, it'll draw us a card. Ooh, Anger. Yes. Yes. There we go. Now we're talking. One, two, three, four. So let's Anger first. See if that resolves. That does. Okay, okay. So Celestis. Alright, now we're in business. Now we're in business. Boom. We are, There we go. We got the ball rolling, baby. Got the ball rolling. Um, Still gonna hold on to the one, six, seven. Uh, if we want to do both. Alright, I'm gonna pitch the acquisition. All right, mastery, play the land, take an extra turn, take action, pitch, crush the weak, draw a card, depopulate, excellent, let's sacred fire you, draw a card, draw two, I'm sorry. Draw two. Play a Lotus Field. Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Alright. <clears throat> well, two lands, but... We have a Faithful Mending and an Otherworldly Gaze. And then we have our Blood Sun if we hit our third land. With Lotus Field? Yeah. I think we can keep this one. Our opponent's on the play, unfortunately, so... Hopefully we don't have to pull the trigger on this depopulate, but we may have to. Okay. Aggro deck as expected. 
normally the way it works with the Jedi. You know? Whenever I'm like, oh hey, I hope I don't get rocked. This is kind of a slow hand. Then we see what happens. See what happens, Larry. You see what happens? Uh, mention the movie in the comments down below if you know the reference. Alright, we're not dead yet. Oh, maybe we are. Okay. Not dead. Yep. Mm. It's interesting because we actually can take one more hit. I think. I say that. I would like for them to give a play one more thing out there. Uh... We have our lands. Do we just kind of want to mill all that? Because next turn we're just playing Blood Sun. Hmm. Yeah, I think we actually are milling all of it. Yeah, I'm glad we did because we drew a land anyways. So we can Celestis this turn. Or we can Blood Sun. Well, next turn. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. See, next turn, we can Lotus Field into Celestis and to depopulate. And it doesn't look suspicious. So, I think this works out in our favor. Then, okay. Alright, not great. They continue to develop their board, but it was nothing we were excited about. Alright. Lotus Field. Ramp. Celestis. Thanks. And depopulate. Okay. What's this one do again? Alright, they got Sacrifice of Vampire. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a quick rebuild, my friends. Very quick. Uh, let's pause on our... Uh, I guess I clicked it too slow. So. Uh, play a land. Not play anything. Trigger. Pitch the Celestis. Oops. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> And we hope not to get wrecked. We're definitely looking for something here. What's the ultimate on this guy? Okay, cool. Yep. Take it and like it, unfortunately. I mean, I guess we could have Faithful Mending, but we're going to need our March to take out the Sorn. So they're going to sack one to ping us. Okay. Okay, okay. That resolves. Alright, Faithful Mending first. Land, land. Well, I'm kind of actually wondering if we just double mending here. I think we do. Okay, uh, tapped land. And then on our upkeep. Oh, wait, we can do that now. Shoot, my bad. We can do that now. I guess we could have done it the other way around. Right? Another Lotus Field and a chance for glory. I think we just have to bottom all that. Because we's close to dying, my friends. Anger of the Gods. Ugh. Deals with one of our problems. Not both, though. And we are out of card filtering. So, let's activate. Pitch the marsh. We can pitch that. Anger of the gods will at least get rid of... Oh, I guess they can activate it, right? Yeah. Shoot. I didn't think about that. Uh, I guess we should have faithful looting. Do we feel like we can go deep enough? I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna need another, um... Another, uh, depopulate. 
Thankfully, we gained enough life where we're not just straight dead. But, he's so close. Yeah, I didn't think about them being... For some reason, I thought, because it triggered to the end of turn. For some reason, in my head, I thought they, uh... Okay. Wow, how did... Really? They've drawn, like, the same three cards in the majority of their deck. That's pretty impressive. Let's gain life here so we don't die. Alrighty, then. Now we're talking. All right, let's see if we can pull a win out of nothing, out of thin air here. All right, this is gonna be close, my friends. This is going to be close. Land is not what we wanted to see. All right, mastery. Uh, one, two, three. We don't have enough to do both. So, might as well just take an extra turn here. Uh, pass the turn. Back to ourselves. Uh, alright, alright. There we go. That's something. That's something. So, play Tamiyo. Alright, guys. Alright. Minus Tamiyo. Get chance for glory. I have learned much from my Play enemies. chance for glory. Pull, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Lotus Field gain. So the good thing here is now that we have it, we're gonna gain two more. Uh, discard two cards. These let us cycle, so I guess we go here. Come on, come on. Hook it up, hook it up. Another mastery. Not really what we wanted to see. Lotus Field. So we take another turn. Alright, there we go. That's something. So we're going to get to draw a bunch of cards. We need to... I guess we do this first, right? And we leave up three mana... To be able to take another turn. Let's look. Seek and find. Chance for glory. Got it. Yes. Oh no, opponent, no. Ah. Uh -huh. We're asking a lot of this Faithful Mending, but, I mean, we have Depopulate, and we have Mastermind's Acquisition. We can play them both, depending on what our opponent does, so I think we're going to keep this. We go first as well, so that gives us a bit of a, a reprieve. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the Xander's Lounge, so we have potential ac the option to uh, Otherworldly Gaze or Faithful Mending, right? So... I think that would be pretty cool. Alright. Yep. Still just keep playing our lands. So, looks to be a for sure control deck from the opponent. Uh, we could foretell, but I think we're just going to end up discarding it. So, let's just go ahead and play the Triome. And we could Faithful Mending, pitching the Acquisition and the crush the week not sure i guess we can probably go digging for another depopulate if we really need to i think the one thing is against their creature lands it's a pretty pretty land and there's some pretty sweet land artwork like don't get me wrong i'm not a fan of all of them but some of them are pretty darn sweet it's faithful mending land land yeah sure Let's keep the Masterminds Acquisition just in case. Of note, there was no pause there, which is super sweet. So let's start off by... Faithful Mending? Yeah, I think doing it main phase is fine. Yep. Pitch, pitch. Right? Yeah, that seemed correct. Play Approving Grounds, send it back. So, definitely not going to miss any of our land drops anytime soon, which is sweet. 
So looking to resolve a mastery and obviously our blood sun to deal with the um, creature lands. Of course, they're going to have like a big bounce turn. Once again, nice. Not too shabby. Uh, let's main phase. Let's see if they go for the counter here. There's the blood sun. Nice. Uh, let's discard. Sure. And then let's go. So, of course, now they're reading it like what that's the only issue with this deck sometimes and maybe there was a consideration not to pitch the chance for glory right because um then the the jig is kind of up right i guess with being able to leave up two mana there might have been a reason to leave up sacred flame or sacred fire uh you know it is what it is it's hard to tell and explore what the control decks are going to and not going to have. We're going to ramp quite a bit, though. So, strike fast and strike we're going to have to need something for this samurai before we grab our mastery. Interesting. So, are they leaving up D-Stroke? Is that what we're seeing? Ooh, nice. <clears throat> okay, so it's not D-Stroke. They didn't foretell. All right, let's see. Lowe's Field is one shy. One shy of being able to. Uh, and they plussed, so we can't really kill either with Sacred Fire. Guess we can try to resolve this acquisitions, Mastermind's acquisition, right? They're reading Blood Sun. Interesting. Fair, fair enough, opponent. All right. It's a little... So now we're in a tough spot, right? Because now we're not drawing anything. So maybe pitching the Border Wipes was a little ambitious, right? I mean, we're not too, too worried about Emperor. So, Dovin's Veto. That counters anything, right? Non-creature spell, okay. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have to try to find another depopulate. So, fair enough. Though, once again, this deck does have the capability of just winning out of nowhere, friends. So, we'll see. The land. The land is not what we wanted to see here. Uh, we are going to stop our opponent's upkeep then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't really want to I mean I, yeah I think we're just gonna play this tapped and on our opponent's upkeep try to kill the wandering emperor that way we could potentially um gives us the option to grab a uh depopulate so we'll see it's gonna be close it's gonna be close Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what our opponent does here. Taking five, but we take we gain two. We're gonna make a dude. Alright, let's kill the wandering emperor. Have one man out, or we could get spell pierced. Okay. See you later. I mean it's useful on them. I I could see why, right? That they wanted to counter it. So, which is unfortunate, because, man, that would have would have ramped a ton um, if we could have resolved that. And, unfortunately, we did go through... Oh, wow. Wow. So, they're on the aggro plan in a big way, which I don't blame them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, make sure we have double white left, right? Yep. It is a little unfortunate that we had to use it this way, but it is what it is. Let's grab 
Oh, I guess we can also just grab anger here, right? I mean, there's really no difference. Literally no difference. So, let's just do that. Ah. Oh. You populate. And then... Oh, because we played our land. Alright. And then these things have hexproof, so we don't have to worry about the Field of Ruin. Alright, so... This is going to be interesting. Let's see what we top deck here. Huh. Hmm. I mean... YOLO, right? YOLO, my friends. Do these stack? I have no idea if these stack or not. But might as well, right? Uh, let's see here. Play this. Pitch. Here. Take another one. Blood Sun. Need to draw a card. All right. I mean, we're we're dead. We have no way of filtering, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh, so close. We need to draw cards. Oh, wait. Oh no, we don't have enough. No. Oh, that's such a bummer, man. Such a bummer. That would have been super cool. Super cool to land. Well, we 100% do not want to start with all of our win cons in our opening hand. So, we're going to ship this one. Uh, this one looks a little bit better to me. Uh, probably can tuck the Mastermind's Acquisition. Hmm. We have to remember that Lotus Field is not really land right now. Keep. I think we took the acquisition. Because Tameo <clears throat> could potentially buy us some time as well. Ooh, that's a nice draw. It's a very nice draw for us, actually. Because now we'll be able to play our Shipwreck Marsh Angels. Okay, so. Crystal Week going to potentially do some work. This will let us dig for our lands as well as something like our uh blood sun right blood sun so let's see also gonna probably need our um actually crust of the week isn't gonna really do anything against this deck because guide is just gonna make everything huge so depopulate gonna need depopulate or bust my friends depopulate or bust all right, all right. That actually is funny. Actually really funny that it will do some work next turn. So, yep, let's gaze. And there's our red source. So pitch, pitch. Keep the land. And we will fire that off right away. And then next turn, we will... Uh, mending? Hmm. Mending or gaze? I think we're still... Nice, hit our land. So, we can plus Tamio for our board wipe. Is that the most efficient thing we could do? We can mending... Mending... No, we can't. Unfortunately, we cannot. Mending plus worldly gaze. So, we could just Mending here, I guess. And also Tamiyo and Plus. I want to do that when we kind of have a closer idea of what we want to grab. So, let's just send it back. Send it back and we'll probably Gaze, <clears throat> I think. It'd be a lot easier if we obviously had the... Oh, we got a pass there. I like that. So, let's see what their follow-up play. No. So, it's all their big stuff. That's interesting. 
fire off the mending, I guess, so we don't go down a card. Yeesh. It's a little poopy. A little poopy. Uh. Okay. Not the worst. Like, it's not the worst. Celestis, okay. So, Celestis. And then Jetmir's Garden. Right? And then we can gaze looking for our either or. Either our master. Ah, okay. I, I should have suspected something like that, right? Alright, well, now. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, they, uh, they definitely, uh,. I don't know why. I, sorry, I don't play Explore enough to know to expect everything yet. Or what to expect in the meta. So, we'll see. Yeah, we're, we're definitely looking for a depopulate. Um, shoot, man. We may die here. Wow. Holy cow, opponent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, we're leaving. We're discarding that. Oof. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This depopulate is going to do some work, my friends. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So... Depopulate, and then as I guess, sack these two. Not my favorite thing to do. Not my favorite thing to do, but it does get us up a land. Speaker, okay, and we are drawing another one. So, um, all right, and so I think this is a good window to just fire off the Tamio. And then plus, all right, nice. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take our plan B win. Well, my friends, that is the deck. Oh man, I, I'm going to have to give this one a two, a two out of five. And the reason I say that is because this is a very niche deck with very niche cards, right? You, you, I mean, I guess Lich's Mastery only two of it's rare, but there's three chance for glory. And let's be honest, like that's a very specific legendary or um, mythic as well as Tamio. So there are a handful of cards here that I think are very specific, right? And the lands could be very expensive if we wanted to. Um, I think with the introduction of the uh, tri lands from New Capenna, this deck has gotten a little bit cheaper. But as you can tell, a ton of fun to play. Uh, really unfortunate, we really didn't get to do any of our win cons, but I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I've definitely done a couple of times off camera. Tormenting a fire doesn't take much. You do it for like eight, the opponent's done for um, in most cases. But yeah, you pretty much have a plethora of things that you can do to kind of get you there if you need to. The lines are very deep, as you guys saw. Um, it is a little soft. <laughs> excuse me a little soft to aggro decks if you don't get your good draw that's why i kind of went up a little bit on the board wipes but yeah sequencing is very important with this deck but it is a ton of fun i really wish we could have gone off um so you guys could have seen it but you kind of did you just didn't see the finisher essentially when we had all that mana we would immediately just kind of fire off that torment for a bunch or you guys can pick and choose from the uh sideboard whatever you feel but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoyed this little dabble into a different format. I do plan on doing it from time to time, but obviously with a focus on standard. At least while we grow, maybe I'll start another channel for Commander. Who knows? But that will do it. So thank you guys so much for writing the Struggle Bus with me today. I appreciate you immensely. You guys freaking rock. How awesome are you guys? Till next time, as always, happy gaming.